This holiday week was perfectly filled with friends, family, and festivities. It started out with a short visit with my parents who had a one night layover in New York on their way back home from Serbia. So we visited them at their hotel by the airport and on the way there, I started knitting a hat using some of my own naturally dyed hand spun yarns. My parents spent the night at the Trans World Airlines Hotel, which is an incredible 60s theme hotel that overlooks the JFK airport. We had a lot of fun exploring and we enjoyed a really nice dinner together as a family. This place was so cool and you can even watch planes take off while swimming on a rooftop pool. But in my opinion, it was way too cold for that. We also celebrated our family Slava, which is a Serbian celebration of the family's patron saint. My mom baked a Slava bread and brought it with her on the plane as a carry-on bag, so it was extra special and we all enjoyed it together. They also brought me some really nice gifts of traditional Serbian crafts. I got a collection of crochet doilies and hand-knit socks. It was a really, really nice evening. Good morning, happy Monday, and welcome back to my channel. So last week I didn't end up recording a vlog just because I was a little bit overwhelmed with life and school. But this week is a half week, we have Thanksgiving break, and it should be pretty fun. So now I'm heading to my morning CAD class, and the last time we talked, I was really stressed out because I couldn't think of an idea that I was happy with for my project, and I think I finally thought of something. So one of my family's holiday traditions is to decorate really silly Christmas cookies, and one of the repeating designs that we always do every single year are Santas and gingerbread men that are in little bikinis ready for a tropical Christmas. So I thought it might be fun to create a print inspired by those designs and make like a tropical gingerbread men motif for Christmas time. So I made a watercolor painting of some gingerbread and some other little cookie decorations for my print. And yeah, now I'm gonna head to class and work on that. After scanning my paintings, I spent the entire morning color reducing them in Photoshop, which is extremely tedious and time consuming. I'm definitely gonna have to spend a lot of time working on these prints over the next few weeks. After my Photoshop class, I had a quick lunch break and then I headed to screen printing where I photographed my newest screens. Our assignment was to create a floral print and when the teacher said that, everyone in the class groaned because all we've been doing lately are flower prints in all of our classes. So I decided to make mine a little bit silly just to have some fun and to keep myself from going crazy over all these very serious flower designs that we've been making lately. These black images are my positives, which I made in Photoshop and printed on vellum. In this video, you'll see me transferring the designs to my screens using chemicals, a vacuum and UV light table, and water. After my screens were finished, I mixed some random paint colors so I could test them out. I also somehow got yellow paint on myself in the process. Overall, I think they turned out really well. And now you can see what my design looks like. It's kind of like if Marimekko collaborated with the Muppets, which I feel like is perfectly my vibe. I just made one little measuring mistake so my prints didn't line up perfectly, but thankfully that's an easy fix. I then made another test print, but this time on some scrap fabric. I really like this pattern and I can't wait to play around with the colors and make some more prints next week. And after class, Sophie and I went out for some soup dumplings. Hello again, so I'm now heading home after a very long day. Sophie and I grabbed some dinner and some boba, and now I'm heading home to study for quite a lot of stuff I have to memorize for Japanese tomorrow. So wish me luck and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, happy Tuesday. So our building decided to shut down both of our elevators for maintenance. So I'm up a little bit early today so I could beat that scheduled repair and I wouldn't have to climb down almost 20 flights of stairs. So I have a little bit of extra time this morning. I'm gonna practice my Japanese presentation for later in the day. And yeah, hopefully there'll be some fun things to show you throughout the day. So I'm just hanging out in the weaving studio, which is my normal, just like chill spot to be alone. And I figured I'd practice my Japanese presentation a little bit, just so I can get a little more comfortable speaking all of these words out loud. Cause it's definitely nerve wracking to speak a different language in front of other people. 
So I figured let's just add more to my nerves and let me show you what my presentation is. <laughs> Basically what we're doing is we're just creating a series of very basic sentences um, using some of the vocab we've learned throughout the semester. So it's pretty straightforward. It's just me describing what my Tuesday is like. Please don't judge me for my accent because I know it's not good. So enjoy. Watashi wa Andrea des. Watashi wa kayobi ni shichiji ni okimasu. Yoku kohi o nomimasu. Kuji ni nihongo o benkyoshimasu. Tokidoki daigaku de hiru gohan o tabemasu. Sanji ni orimono no benkyo shimasu. Taite daigaku de shukudai o shimasu. Kuji ni uchi ni kaerimasu. Watashi no uchi ni neku ga imasu. Neko no namae wa Frankie desu. Frankie wa yoko sakana o tabemasu. Arigatou gozaimasu. <laughs> I know I say this every single Tuesday, but I feel the need to say it again. Four hours is way too long for a language class. It's just too much. <laughs> At least I'm done now and I can go get some food and my presentation went well, so I guess I can't complain that much. hot Philly cheesesteak on a very cold day. After lunch, I had my weaving class where I continued my weavings inspired by the movie The Young Girls of Rochefort. Last week, you saw me make and thread a white warp onto my floor loom. This week, I started my first of four weaving samples, which is a repeating stripe design. First, I picked out some yarns that matched the colors of my image. Next, I wound the yarn onto bobbins. Then I started weaving. I wove a few inches of brainstorming just to figure out exactly what I wanted my pattern to look like. Then I created a draft on the phone app, I Weave It. And once I had it all figured out, I wove 10 inches of my design. I wanted to create something that was serious and straightforward, but still somewhat cheerful and happy, because those are all the feelings that my reference image gave me. I also wanted to play with the colors in the characters' clothing, because the characters in blue and orange always wear those colors and they stick together, and the characters in purple and pink do the same. Overall, I really like how the weaving came out. Hello again, so it's about 8 p.m. I spent an extra two hours after class working on my weaving for the day, and overall I'm really happy with it. I'm excited to be done, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Right now the temperature feels like is 27 degrees and I'm not happy about that. So I'm gonna try to rush home and get warm and yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Who needs mittens when you have a hot burrito to hold? So good. Good morning, happy Wednesday. Don't let that sun fool you. I'm absolutely freezing. I don't normally wear hats, so if you ever see me in a hat, that's how you know I'm definitely very cold. And now I promise I'm gonna stop complaining about the temperature. So anyway, today's Wednesday. It's a half day because of the Thanksgiving holiday. So I'm gonna spend the first part of my morning working on my orchid print. Then I have some fun plans for the day. So I'm gonna take you along. I started the morning feeling a little bit unsure about how I was gonna tackle the center of the flowers, so I decided to paint the background instead. I decided to go for a green gouache blotch, which was really satisfying to paint. I then removed the latex frisket from the center of all the flowers so I can start painting them next week. Sophia brought the whole class sponge cakes as a holiday treat and they were amazing. Hello again, so I'm now heading home after my morning of painting. I just realized that I actually forgot to take a picture to show you what my painting looked like at the end of the class period, but 
I guess we'll see you next week and that's just a reason to subscribe. So hit that subscribe button to see what it looks like. <laughs> So first things first, I'm gonna go to the grocery store, grab a turkey and all of our groceries for our Thanksgiving dinner. And then Ryan and I are gonna to go to the inflation day, which is pretty much where they take all of the balloons and the parade floats that are gonna be in the Macy's Thanksgiving day parade. And they blow them up right in front of the Museum of Natural History. So you can walk around, take photos, see them up close, and it's a whole lot of fun. So I'll videotape as much as I can and I'll show you how it goes. exciting evening out, Ryan and I unwinded with some video games and knitting. And I finished my hat! This is my first time ever knitting with my own hand spun and also my first time ever making a hat and I'm really happy with how it turned out. The following day was Thanksgiving. Ryan and I woke up early to watch the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade and to prepare the house for our Friendsgiving evening. I made my mom's budak recipe, which is basically a pie with layers of flaky filo dough and a savory cheese filling. I also FaceTimed my sister so she could teach me how to make her stuffing recipe, I made mashed potatoes, and I prepared the turkey, gravy, and cranberry sauce, which we enjoyed with our friends. Sophia also brought an incredible chocolate banana tart that she decorated herself. Hello again, happy Friday. So yesterday was Thanksgiving and we celebrated with a really chill, fun, relaxing Friendsgiving. And that was honestly exactly what I needed. Just like friends, cocktails, hot food in our apartment. It was really nice. So now I'm heading over to Flushing and I'm meeting Sophia and we're gonna go shopping. So that should be a lot of fun. And I'll show you anything that's interesting. We had a really lovely day shopping for clothes and accessories. We also ate a bunch of fun snacks like these ugly donuts. And we also went to an absolutely adorable pastel pink claw machine arcade where we drank milk tea with boba and played to win some of the cutest stuffed animals ever. I tried my best to win a pink overall wearing cow plushie, but I learned that claw machines are definitely not a strength of mine. No! <laughs> Come on. No! Come on, please. No! <laughs> but thankfully Sophia was there to help me out and I got my cow. We stopped by some more stores. and then went out for hot pot and soju. Ryan and Mitch ended up joining us and they summoned the birthday monkey to our table since it's my birthday next week.
We then went out for some shaved ice sundaes. I absolutely love Thanksgiving and cannot have asked for a better week spent with my family and friends. Next week is definitely gonna be a busy one since it's my birthday and I also have a ton of art school projects due. So if you wanna stick around and see more of my adventures, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.